Thank you, President. President, uh, fiscal and financial uh, reforms, pivotal as they are, are not a substitute for structural change and competitiveness, competitive growth uh, policies. That is why I would like to address first briefly the role of cohesion policy in the delivery mechanism of the EU 2020. In its conclusions, the Council sent us a clear message to involve cohesion policy in the implementation of the EU 2020. After all, this is a policy that was the only truly successful strand in the delivery of the Lisbon strategy, as confirmed by the recent March communication of the European Commission. Why? Because it sets binding guidelines that are conditions for the Euro Europe's resources to be transferred to a member state, a region or a city. It also leaves space for member states and regions to translate common European objectives into their own reality. It has an efficient machinery to monitor and support in achieving goals. And last but not least, it has also an efficient sanction mechanism on economic governance. I would like to support strongly the idea of going beyond the fiscal surveillance towards competitiveness-related factors generating or contributing to imbalances. And I also believe we should say today clearly, urgently and loudly why fiscal surveillance did not work and Stability and Growth Pact did not deliver. If we continue to rely exclusively on decentralized fiscal discipline, maybe it will give us a better European governance, but it will not give us a good European governance. Thank you.